<clears throat> so I'm here this week. Woo! So I'm back this week. Look at my cute new headband that I got. Yums! Instead of that ugly black one. This one's fish. So anyway, I'm here again this week and um, I'm excited because I'm going to be doing something fun. I'm doing, um, sorry, you probably know what I'm doing. If you've seen the title of this, you know what I'm doing. I'm doing Lady Gaga's Counter Slip from American Horror Story Hotel. Um, it is so good, like that look is so, so, so good. And she pulls it off so well and I just love her, she's actually queen. Um, unfortunately, I can't actually watch American Horror Story. It is way, 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 way too scary. And I'm not about that at all. Um, but I, I stalk Lady Gaga on Instagram. I am a fan. And I love that character. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to be doing that today. I don't really have anything else to say. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm, I'm going to cover my brows like usual. And I'm not going to show that, but I will be showing my foundation because I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. Um, so, stick around if you want to see that, and I will get started. Okay, she's back. So, I've just changed my shirt because it is damn hot here. You have no idea. It's boiling. I've just done my eyebrows and my base colour. That's all the same. Now we're going to move on to um, contour and highlight. So, I'm going to take my white Kryolan paint stick. And we're just gonna do this, and we're just gonna kind of bring that down quite low, like that, and up. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, and then of course, after you've done that, we're gonna take our contour color. And we're going to really define those cheekbones. So I'm going to bring it from here and bring it down like that. Okay. Because the character has those really good cheekbones, girls. So we're just going to fake them until we make them. You. And then, like usual, around the forehead. So now I'm just going to blend that out. blend it out uh, just like usual we're gonna go in with our translucent and set all of that I'm gonna go in with some contour powder I'll take my brush and just my bronzer I'm just going to get in this line, just follow that same line that we created with the uh, foundation. so you can actually see what I'm doing on my eyes properly. So, yeah, we're going to start in the eyes. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a small fluffy brush and my same contour that I was just using, my same bronzer, and we're basically just going to map out our crease and like our shadows and all that. I'm going to take this and we're just going to kind of map out that crease, which is going to be quite a bit higher than usual. It's very flat because she has very sunken in eyes, so she kind of has like an outward, like her eyebrow bone comes out quite a bit. So this is all going to be very, very flat. 
Um, so what I'm going to do next is we're going to get that sunken in look a little bit more. I'm going to take the same, I'm just kind of like rotating between these three uh, dark colours here. And we're going to get in this corner here and just kind of create that shadow and really blend it out. Okay, I'm going to again take these darker colours and just get in that crease just a tiny bit more and then just blend it all out. Okay, so now that that's like basically set in place, we're going to go in and um, like add a bit of colour. So I'm going to take the same brush I was using and a bit of like oranges and golds. And basically just kind of like go over and blend out what we just did with those colours. Oranged. We're gonna go in with a bit more color. I'm taking like a copper brown, like shiny color, which is like a little bit orange and a little bit red. Same brush, and we're gonna go in that crease there with this. annoying me at this point. I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to clean up these edges here. There's like literally, I haven't added, added anything to this besides what just was already on it from like the last times I was using it, which is like nothing. So I'm basically just going to run that up against there and just like clean up that line there. Okay, so next we're just going to keep adding the shadows and that. I'm going to take the same brush I was using and just like this black that isn't very pigmented so it's not full, really that dark so it's not going to be too intense so just like brush that off and we're just going to get in that crease again very lightly and just blend it out, blend it out Okay, so now this step is going to really help a lot with this whole look. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a little concealer brush and just my concealer and what we're going to do is we're going to paint in our crease because Lady Gaga has some very impressive eyelids and her crease comes up to about here. So I'm just going to take that and just basically just paint on a fairly harsh crease line. So I'm just going to go back in with that same brush that we were using before and just kind of blend out those edges a little bit so it's not so obvious. See that? Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go in with a bit of black. Ooh, yes, queen. So I'm not going to go in with my really dark black just yet, just the same black we were using before. And just get in that crease line again and just keep blending. Okay. Okay. So next we are going to take, I've just got this like really soft like gold shimmer like pencil type thing. The brand is Fifth Avenue. Um, and it was like, I think I got it from like Target or something. Super cheap, but it's quite good actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like put that in the corners here and blend that out. Okay, so next I've got this like rose gold type of pigment stuff. Um, the brand is Savvy by DB. Really cheap, again, very, very cheap. Very good, good though. And the um, colour is Wildflower. So I'm just going to take a bit of that on a brush. 
and we're just going to dab that all over our eyelids here. Okay, so next, just real quick, I've got this like weird roll-on shimmer. Um, kind of like eyeshadow in like a roller form. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of that to like the highlighted areas of my eyelids there, just to really make them pop. See that? I'm gonna go back in with my same brush that I was using this whole time and mix some of those oranges together and sort of just blend out that line again. Just like that. Okay, so next we're gonna actually go in with some dark, dark black. So get your most pigmented black that you can possibly find and get your black brush. Just a tiny bit on there and we're gonna kind of act as if this is eyeliner and get in that line there and then bring it all the way up. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with this brush here and kind of just do some damage control on these lines. Okay. So I'm going to take that same brush and a bit of those oranges and like copper brown and we're just basically going to just run that along there down the bottom. We're going to take our black brush and connect this line here down to that bottom line. I'm going to take my brush with that uh, pink pigment and bring that into the corners and kind of connect that to that bottom line there. Okay, so now basically what I'm doing is I've got this like pencil uh, liner that's like kind of soft. So I'm just going to kind of do a very rough wing line here and connect that to that top line just to darken it a little bit. Okay, and just before we move on real quick, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of mascara. I am not, basically what I'm doing with mascara is I'm like focusing on the outer corners of my eyes, just where that black is. Cause that'll help with just bringing the eyes up, like the character. Okay, so next is eyebrows. So since Lady Gaga has those sick blonde eyebrows, basically I'm just gonna kind of fake it till I make it. I'm gonna take the same concealer brush and make the same concealer that I used to do my eyelids. We're basically just gonna kind of draw them in. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking the same sponge that I used to blend out my whole entire face I'm kind of just like blending them out a little bit so they're not so harsh and then I'm going to take my same brush that I've been using this whole entire time and just kind of blend out the bottoms of them there and just kind of blend it up okay so that's pretty much the eyes done before we move on to lips she's just got this quick just got this small like beauty mark under her eye there so I just did that okay so now for the lips this is I just got a really dark dark red lipstick here this is another fifth avenue good color so I'm just gonna basically just do that Okay guys, this is pretty much the finished look. 
I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you think I look like her. I don't really have a wig, but what I do have is I have a white piece of fabric that I'm going to kind of wrap around my head and get a little bit fun and crazy with. So I'll be right back with that and then we'll be done. So I'll be back. Bye. Okay, guys. This is the finished look. All hail Queen Gaga. So I hope you guys liked it, and thank you so much for watching, um, and I will be back next time with something just as fun. Yay! Bye guys, see you next time, bye!